Welcome to Brian's Action Figure Reviews. And I've got something a bit special, well, a bit different. I wanted to try different stuff. So today, as you see, I've got a collection behind me. Collection of action figures, as they call them. And along the way in collecting these action figures, I've come across a lot of problems. More than I'd like to imagine. And I see a lot of problems in places where you collect these action figures, groups, etc. eBay, Amazon, toy shops, comic shops, video game shops, GameStop being one. So um, today I've decided to do a video for someone like, this could, this could apply to a lot of people. This could apply to someone who has a collection and wants to extend someone who has a collection and wants to sell or someone who's just starting out so today I've got 10 top collector tips and this is from my own experience this isn't copied from anywhere else this isn't this isn't anyone else's this is stuff shit people I've actually encountered um, and my feedback based on that on building this collection I collect Marvel Legends, I collect NECA, I collect WWE figures, Star Wars Black Series, Storm Collectibles, Lego, fucking every other thing, everything and anything that takes my fancy I collect. And I've been doing it for 10 plus years. So I've run into all sorts of bits and pieces. So I've a lot of experience in this. Um, please don't take this personally. Please don't. You're welcome to do what you like with this advice. You're welcome to fuck me off. You're welcome to say anything. Because this is my opinion. This is my views on this hobby. So other people will have different experiences. And that's fair enough. So with that. Number one. This is for more for people starting out. Number one. Pick what kind of collection you want. Do you want to collect one line do you want to collect five lines do you want to collect one figure across a load of lines pick what kind of collection you want and try your best to stick with it number two i see this so often do not get caught up in trends if you're on action figure groups especially you will see johnny mary vinnie all these guys buying wave after wave and you'll think, oh no, those figures are awesome. I gotta keep up. You don't. You don't gotta keep up with trends. You only have to buy what you wanna buy. I can, I so often seen people, like say, Spider-Man Far From Home comes out, which I reviewed. There's a wave with Molten Man, one of the worst build figures ever, to come out. And I've seen people buy that wave. And then, this is just an example now, I'm not picking on Spider-Man Far From Home. I see people buying a wave. Two weeks later, they're selling them at a loss just because they wanted to be the cool kid. Oh, look, I got, I got Spider-Man. Yeah, I got Spider-Man. No, oh, I don't really want to be more. That's what happens. So only buy, try and buy shit you're really interested in. Don't get caught in trends. Um, number three, this should seem fairly obvious, but, um, Use trusted online retailers where possible. It's pretty straightforward. Number four. Now, back to number three, there's loads in the UK and Ireland that will send, that in the UK and that will send to Ireland. There's the odd, if you're in America, there is thousands. So you shouldn't ever get caught up with someone who can rip you off, retailer-wise. Number four. Be aware of action figure groups. I'm on loads myself. Watch the field, look for patterns. Like, what I mean by that is, when you join an action figure group first, don't click on the first post you see and say, I'll buy this, that, and the other thing. Check out, check out feedback if it's, if it's available. Go for references if they're available. If something seems too good to be true in a figure group, it probably is. But just watch for a couple of days see who's 
who's posting what and who's selling what and just have your wits about you because when you go into figure groups you're no longer dealing with trusted retailers you're dealing with people like yourself you're dealing with other people who have real life issues and will more than often more often than not blame their real life issues for not following through in a deal just be aware number five when you're selling be mindful when you when you're selling you have the seller's advantage you there, there should be no pressure on you to sell up to someone now i know groups have have rules and stuff about selling don't go to private message don't do this don't do that but at the end of the day if you don't want to sell to someone you don't have to sell to someone get the best deal for you not the buyer um there are some people and also beware of flippers there's some people on groups who will look to buy lots and then when you're not looking we'll throw those lots up on ebay and individually and make a shit ton of money off your arsehole so you've got to beware of these people you can't rely on admins and figure groups to do this for you because admins just they're, they're there to help they can't do things for you you have to have a bit of a common sense yourself and that probably comes back to number five again or number four with the figure groups number doo -doo 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 -doo, number six check out local local facebook pages car boot sales stuff from stuff like that <clears throat> very often i found stuff on local websites and going to car boot sales on a sunday you get you find cheap shit now they're not always this is a sometimes I found stuff on adverse.ie which is a local page here I bought a CM Punk that was out of manufacture 15 euros whereas it, the going rate is double that on eBay you can come across bargains like that I think Gumtree is the English one I'm not too sure but check your local your, your local surroundings for car boots and stuff you'll be surprised what you find number uh, seven when you're buying figures as well from even on eBay and from other collectors be sure they're from non-smoking homes because getting figure or smoke smell out of action figures is probably the hardest thing you can do and it's rotten for someone who doesn't smoke i don't smoke anymore i used to but the smell of cigarettes now to me is like nightmare fuel to me um <clears throat> eight beware this comes back to the groups thing as well but it's on ebay as well beware of scammers people will try and rip you off because people are dickheads basically not everyone <clears throat> but there is a small percentage of people out there who will with the greatest of intentions sell something to you and then for whatever reason whatever happens in their personal life <clears throat> be it sudden car bills sudden baby bills whatever S shit will get in the way and they won't send your stuff but there is always excuses but at the end of the day you if you're paying paypal don't pay gifted don't pay friends and family because paypal will cover you pay the fees if they want the fees at the end of the day pay them it covers you if that person then tries tries to shaft you not today eBay will or paypal will side with you just cover your own arse because it's easier that way this one number nine is um ebay aliexpress and wish don't buy shit off of those off of aliexpress and wish anyway because 99 percent of the time stuff from those two places and from hong kong sites in on ebay it's all knockoff shit quality stuff except now for NECA, the odd time they can get quality but always buy genuine basically and you can avoid all of that stuff um you want you want to you're going to spend 35 euros on a NECA ultimate alien figure spend the 35 euros don't spend 30 and get a ball of shit that's going to fall apart in your hand within five minutes of opening it i bought my own experience i bought a NECA pennywise figure it was 12.50 or something like that 
uh, as I was pulling it out of, out of the clamshell, leg came off. Or was it? Yeah, was the, <clears throat> the arm came off of the elbow joint. And it's just all discoloured and just rotten looking. So it's pointless. Two months wait and you get a shit figure at the end of the day. And more than likely you won't get your money back either. So beware of chaos. And number 10. <clears throat> probably the most important thing. Number 10. Enjoy what you, what you collect. Enjoy your collection. If it's getting too much. Or you don't feel like you're enjoying it anymore. Stop. Simple. No one's forcing you to do it. It's like with any job. If you don't like it anymore, try your best to get out of it. Get out of it. Life is for enjoyment at the end of the day. This is a hobby to escape from work and all these other things. And if you're not enjoying it anymore, you shouldn't be doing it. There's no, there's no fun in doing things for the sake of doing things. Um, anyway, I'm enjoying this, doing these reviews, so I'm going to keep doing them. And I hope you enjoyed this, so... If you liked it, give me a like. If you can't, if you feel, if you want to dialogue with me on any of the, the ten things I said out there, drop a comment. I'll, just let, I'll gladly, <clears throat> I'll gladly comment back. No problem at all. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And to all my subscribers, thank you for being subscribers. I love every single one of you. Thanks so much. Thanks. And this is Brian from Brian's Action Figure Reviews saying goodbye. See you later.